Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, where we are playing Hasbro Family Game Night 3, specifically Mousetrap. I'm joined by the Akamura. Yo! But not Lacey this time. Nope. So, Mousetrap is one of my favorite board games, and Akamura, have you ever played it before? I, I have, I just haven't ever done it correctly. <coughs> what the hell? Anyway, what is that, what exactly does that mean? That you've never played it correctly? I've never played it right. I've played it before, but the people I was playing with either fucked up the rules or fucked up the game board or some shit went down, but like I've never played it properly ever. I see. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, in case you guys, uh, yes, I know, yes. I, I guess that's what happens when you grow up in a uh, household of crazy Why? Folks. Why did we ever agree to wear these things? We didn't. So, the uh, in case you guys don't know, the whole point of Mousetrap is that it's essentially a Rube Goldberg machine. Uh, you build the... Uh-huh. Guide the ball through the trap parts on the board. Each trap part acts with the one contraption part. Use left stick cursor. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on here. Uh... I guess. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, it's Tetris. All right. Where am I supposed to be pointing to? I, I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't even... Eh. Eh. What am I doing? What the... Oh, you rotate them. That's good to know. One contraption part will be built. Wonderful. So... Uh, yeah, so once you build all the contraption parts, uh, you get to, uh, trap other players, and if you are the last player standing, then you win. Hooray. Um, I forget what ch cheese even does. I don't remember exactly all the rules of the game, but anyway. Um, so this was one of my favorites, but the whole problem with your Rube Goldberg machines, uh, in the- But only if there are two, three, or four players playing. I see. So do you have to guide it through all the pieces parts, or...? It seems so, yes. <laughs> so I need to... Uh-huh. Oh, God! Uh, uh, no, wait! Can you <laughs> not rotate them? Again. No, you can't. You can only drop the next... It's like Tetris, but stupid. Oh. But apparently I'm still working on the trap, or the contraption, so whatever. Uh, so yeah, the problem with the real game is that physics and cheap plastic sort of get in the way of everything. Um, so it was never really all that much wonderful to play in uh, reality. At least not to me. But, uh, you know, it was still fun to at least create the thing. Where am I guiding this to? I think you got it. I think all you have to do is make it go to all three. I wouldn't even touch anything else. I'd just sit there and let it go. Uh, as you guys can clearly tell, we haven't even touched this game mode yet. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Yay! So, three contraption parts will be built. Excellent. The other problem with this game is that you needed every single piece. Like, I remember, like, if, in Monopoly, if you lose mo if you don't have enough money or you lose some of the money, you just write it on a piece of paper. Or if you lose a playing piece, you just use Spider-Man instead of a thimble. You know, whatever works. Uh, uh. Oh my god, this is sort of annoying. But at least the game is going to go pretty quick. Uh, wasted part. Oh, damn. There was actually a place I could have put that. Yes, like this. And then like this. No, no, no. Yes, okay. And then I need... No, th shit, that's the part I needed. Ah, uh, uh, fuck. Ah! <laughs> oh, you can place parts over other parts and it'll replace them? Yeah, like that's how to deal with the absence of rotating. Okay, apparently I'm not good at snap decisions, which is usually something I'm very good at. I play MMOs, or RTS games, damn it. I should be better at this. Uh, 
Yeah. Nope, I'm fucked. Indeed. It's over. It was really kind of annoying. But at least you just automatically... It's like even when you fail, at least you get something. That's true. I completely forget what the cheese is for. Maybe it traps you I in a certain I love how I'm smacking spot. you in the back of the head with the nose on the mouse hat deal. Is that what you're doing? I didn't even know. Apparently. I was like right up behind you. Like some weird dude who smells women's hair. Okay. Uh, 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 what do I even do? No! Just stop! Uh, 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 uh. Oh. I really suck at this minigame. I don't know how, uh, at least the contraption is looking fairly accurate. It was kind of a ridiculous thing. I do remember the big green boot for some reason. Uh, okay. All right. You have anything to add to this, Akamura? Not really. This is pretty much a learning experience. Okay, that cat is creepy as hell. Why? Why am I constantly going backwards? Oh, is it like shoots and ladders or something? We were playing uh, Remix Mode of Life, and essentially what Remix Mode of Life does is it replaces your money with moves. So, like, if you earn $20,000, what that means in game terms is you move forward two spaces. So it's kind of like Candyland. It turns life into Candyland, which is not exactly enjoyable, but it was competitive. Although, Akamura beat me in that, too. In fact, so far, the only game I've won in while playing this game is freaking um, Twister. No, it wasn't Twister. It was Clue. I won, I beat, I won in Clue. Come on. There it is. Why? Why are you so good at luck? I'm really good at pipeline games. Really? That's yeah. awesome. Also, Pyro is sad now. But that's all right. Cute. The, the game, uh, the board game even had rules concerning, like, if you trip the contraption, um, how many... Uh, like, if you trip the contraption and something went wrong with it, you actually had to keep playing anyway. So it was one of those games that was really simple in concept, but was gonna take freaking forever to... Okay. That's actually fine. I have to go, like, super concentrating mode for this. Oh, I can see the... Okay. Uh... No, I was one click away. Oh well. I didn't realize I could actually see the next pieces that are coming up. In the right corner, I feel dumb. <sighs> there is not a whole lot of room for talking in this one, is there? There isn't. Life is more fun. Um, so one of the commenters, uh, Dr. Swag, I think, asked me what my favorite game is other than life. And my only other really favorite board game is um, Stratego. I love Stratego. And I think I, I wound up creating my own version of it that's going to eventually be part of my book. If I get my head out of my ass and actually write the damn thing. There we go. Nicely done. Also, you suck, but nicely done. How did they do this in the original mouse trap? I can't remember. Neither do I. Like, did you just roll and then you would build a piece just like that? Like, they didn't even have the minigame part of this? Pretty sure they didn't have the minigame. I don't think you used cards. So, this might be it. It might just be simply, you know, you rolled and then when you landed on a space, you build a piece. Which is kind of silly. Yeah, this is kind of a stupid game. It really is. It might be more interesting if there were more people involved or if the minigames weren't this bloody redundant. But 
Ah, oh, damn it. I need a curve. There we go. Uh huh. Uh. Try to build on the piece. Try to find the piece you need, rather, right there. And then just go from there. There we go. That is seriously intense. I can't even, like, talk when I'm doing it. I have to make sure I don't completely screw up. Anyway, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a lot fewer three and four spaces on the board. So it's like, if you have three or four players, it will take longer to actually build the thing. This is even more chance-based than uh, life is. Uh, go back to Dog's Bone. All right. <laughs> that seemed pointless. Yeah. <laughs> like, what even the hell? It's shoots and ladders and you're building something stupid. Well, Dog's it. Bone. Thank you. I really need to just get the Monopoly game. Oh, guys, I meant to tell you, uh, we I don't know if you all follow the comments. Um, there is, uh, there, Chris Angle suggested that I actually, um, start, open a PayPal to, uh, get donations from you guys, and I, I still don't know if I want to be that kind of a shill, but if I do it, um, I promise that any money I get from that, and in fact, any money that I already get from, uh, from ad revenue for these videos, I'm trying to put back into the channel. And, uh, with my, uh, last deposit from my network, I believe I've got enough money now to buy Monopoly, uh, Monopoly Streets. But if there are any other games you guys are interested in, let me know. And in fact, I can even do the Game Grumps thing. I haven't decided how I'd pull this off yet, but if you guys have a game, if you own a game that you would like to see me play and don't mind giving it to me, I'm going to try yeah. to figure out a way to have you send it to me. Like, Hey, I'm hey, hey, we should do a thing where if they want it back, as soon as we're done playing, we actually fucking send it back. Well, yes, that we would be do that thing. ideal. But that would give me an added <clears throat> expense as well. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just, um... I might set up a P.O. box or... Oh, wait. I just fucked that up completely, didn't I? Because the ball's going to go all the way to the right. Yeah. Yep. Oh, what well, I would have done matter. was I would have redirected it into the next one. and then. Yeah, that's what I would have done, too, if I hadn't been talking. Anyway, it doesn't matter if the stupid mousetrap's built so we can get this going. This might just be a one-off episode. Yeah, I hate this game. <laughs> Let's see, what else have we not, what else have we not no. played yet? Oh, Yahtzee. We haven't done the Yahtzee game. Yahtzee! Gay. So we should... Did you just call it gay? You didn't say that? What? Cut? No. When you play the game, you have to do this with your hands whenever you roll the dice. Okay. Okay. Oh, the family guy bit? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Yahtzee, gay. I was going to say, Fuck you are the last person I would ever expect to use gay as a pejorative. Would you... Stop Pokemon's like, let's get this going. The episode's already getting too long. Oh, God. I, I feel like the person who got caught masturbating at the celibacy club. Oh, my God. It's like... We just lost out, all of our viewers. Out, out, out me as playing Pokemon while we're not... While we're well, mindlessly not. pressing A. Yes. See, now that the trap is complete, it's literally just pressing A to roll like idiots until one of us gets over to the trap. So how was your day today? Boring. I missed you. <laughs> Would you press A? You're not supposed to take this in a real direction, you know? Oh my <laughs> gosh. I should just fast forward through this. You know what? I'm going to. Yay! Does that mean I get to sing over it? Yes. Time skip to, or time lapse time. Ready in three, two, one, go. Do, 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 wait, do, wait, do, wait, do, wait, wait. Wait. Move ahead to the cheese wheel. I am. Are we I'm already done? Okay, wheel. so you're on the cheese wheel. So now if I can trip the trap, you lose and I win and then we're okay. done. Okay, that got interesting. 
Yeah. This is a dumb game. <laughs> Wait, am I on the cheese wheel? You are on the cheese wheel. Why are we both on the cheese wheel? Apparently we have to fight it out. Okay, so like... Do you see that spot with the wheel over there? It's... I don't know why I'm pointing. No one else can see it. Anyway, basically it's four away. If you hit four, we turn the wheel. Oh, or three. And then you just land on it. And then what's going to happen is you turn the crank. And then I'm going to lose because I'm standing on the goddamn cheese wheel. Well, it's good to see that the time lapse was unnecessary. Yay. But it's bad to see that I've lost yet again on my own channel. And somehow this is more painful because of that. Remember when the trap only worked like 30% of the time because it was badly built? Exactly. So... That was stupid. That was... That was mouse trap. That was stupid. Ugh. Let's, uh, let's switch to Yahtzee. Let's forget this ever happened. Ugh. But the not, achievement is called but cheesy. Not in a way where we forget it so much that we want to play it again. Right. I'd rather get a colonoscopy than play this game. <laughs> but if you guys want to see us play Yahtzee, Slammers, whatever the hell that is, tune into the next episode. Ugh. That was like 15 minutes I'll never get back. <laughs>